Hello, my name is Alejandro Trejo, and together with, with my fellows, Andres Gonzalez, Jorge Botejara, and Rodrigo Botejara, all of us from Uruguay, and belonging to the Christian Youth Association University Institute, we are glad to present our study entitled Assessment of the Quality of Women's Humble Matches in Tokyo 2020 according to the relationship between result and playing time. The last Olympic Games at Tokyo presented 12 female teams playing for the medals represented the five continents. Olympic Games, it's an important competition stage and performance analysis have been done since a while. We have examples like Krahenburg, Montoya, and Trejo Silva. Dynamic approach analysis like T patterns and polar coordinates is very useful to understand, to explain, and even to predict the performance of the teams in Hamburg. Importance of study balance games has some previous studies like those of Potejara and Prieto. Paula and other authors did a clustering in female humble in order to get different groups differentiated by, for example, difference in the score. The competitive level is expected to be very high at Tokyo 2020 female tournament. Based on the previous issues, the aims of this research were to catalog the games according to their level of equality in the final score and to analyze the offensive performance of winner and loser for each established groups. Our methodology was based on a sample of the total 38 matches of the Women Tokyo 2020 tournament and using the play-by-play -play reports of each games. We then got 4,000. 972 finalization actions. The statistical study was done by the comparison of the groups made by Wilkinson non prometic test. The play by play report allow us to register many events like a goal flying through in certain minutes and with the relation of the score and the lead at the moment, that is match status. This is an example of a male play-by-play -play report, but we got all the female reports. The variables that we decided to register was the time as a continuous variable, the match status, that is the score difference in, this, in the score between the teams and the moment the action is registers the teams, the game outcome like winner, loser, and draw, the efficacy of the actions in terms of goal, seven meter, two minute exclusions, goalkeeper save, missed shots, and technical four and bad handling. The game time we decided to a parcel in periods of five minutes each. This is an example of one game. In this case, the final game between France and the Russian Olympic Committee. We can see here that during the period of time, the difference in the score was moving till the end of the match. We have this sequence for all 38 matches of the game of the tournament. The image here shows a representation of every linear movement of the score. As is very difficult to understand, we use an algorithm called dynamic time warping that compare temporal series. In our case, we decided to compare no linear temporal sequences. The temporal series established in this case was by match status, that is the difference in the score during the game time. We use the 
alignment in R to manipulate the dynamic time warping. As results, we first have four very differentiated groups of type of games, depending of, on the difference of the scores. In each type of cluster, we have different number of games from different phases of the tournament. We got eight unbalanced game, where the difference of the scores was very important right from the beginning. We have poor balance games where the difference in the score for the winner was again very important right from the beginning. We have balance games where the difference in the score, it was not very important from the beginning but in the moment establish a break and the difference, the final difference is not as bigger. And then we have 13 very balanced games where the difference in the score was still very low, but we have even at the first half or the beginning of the second half, the moment that the winners started to win the K. The match distribution of all these clusters were as follows. We have 28 very balanced and balanced games distributed in the group phase, the quarterfinal, the semifinal, and even the final. Going deeper into the analysis of the very balanced games, we have a critical moment between the minute 26 and the minute 30, where the winners have a mean of scoring 2.8 goals and the losers 1.9 goals. This, as we can see, is a critical moment in the very balanced games. We also have studied the difference of other variables and we can see for the very balanced games and for the winners and losers, a statistical significant saved finalization, where 13.5 of the finalization ended in save and 19.2 finalizations of the losers and in saved. That might be an explanation of why still winners have a better attack efficacy than losers, but we have almost the same performance in the other variables. As conclusions, we can state that the timeline score of the clusters showed that women's tournament at Tokyo 2020 was a competitive championship. Even though winners presented better throwing indicators at critical moments of the game time. The differences between winners and losers show moments of play that should require attention when evaluation performance. Thanks for your attention. And here you have some emails in order to contact us.